Imagine you're standing in front of a vast array of restaurants, each offering a diverse menu with countless options. From Italian to Mexican to Asian cuisine, there's something for every palate. With so many choices, you're bound to find the perfect meal, right? Well, not necessarily. At first glance, having more choices seems like a good thing. After all, who wouldn't want the freedom to choose exactly what they want to eat? But too much choice can actually lead to decision paralysis rather than satisfaction. This is known as the paradox of choice. In the hypothetical situation created by philosopher Jean Verdon, a donkey, equally hungry and thirsty, finds itself standing precisely between a stack of hay and a pail of water. Both options seem equally enticing, yet the donkey is unable to decide which to choose. Tragically, the donkey ends up perishing from both hunger and thirst, trapped in a state of indecision. A situation like this may seem perplexing. After all, life's choices are rarely as clear-cut as either black or white. Other factors like the presence of a swarm of wasps atop the hay or the cleanliness of the water could influence our decision-making process. If you think about it though, most of our indecision is actually based on these nuances. Let's say you're an exterminator by trade and have dealt with wasps hundreds of times. But what if these particular wasps have a venom that could kill you with just a single sting? Suddenly, heading towards the water might seem like the safer option. But drinking potentially contaminated water could pose an equal risk to your safety. When you look at it this way, even seemingly straightforward decisions can become overwhelmingly complex. A donkey's basic struggle with this decision is not that much different than ours. Consider the process of buying a house, often one of life's biggest decisions. Beyond just the physical structure, aspects like the neighborhood, access to public transit, and safety are equally crucial. Each of these considerations compounds affecting future decisions. With every additional option, we have an additional decision to make and must weigh its benefits against the potential drawbacks of not choosing other options. This is known as opportunity cost, and these mental calculations can easily overwhelm us, leading to decision fatigue. In our quest to make the best decision, we can inadvertently hinder our ability to make good decisions at all. The average adult makes more than 35,000 decisions per day. From clicking on this video to deciding what to eat, each choice takes a toll on us, no matter how big or small. So how do we ensure that we make the proper decisions when they matter most? One strategy is to practice what is called satisfying, choosing an option that meets our criteria rather than obsessing over finding the absolute best choice. By setting clear criteria and being willing to accept good enough, we can avoid getting bogged down by endless options. With this, we can use something called range voting. This type of decision making has shown to result in low amounts of regret between the chosen decision and the most optimal choice, known as Bayesian regret, and is often seen in online surveys and has even been proposed as an alternative voting system in election. Let's revisit our original scenario, where a family is deliberating on which house to purchase. This family, made of two parents and two children, has narrowed down their options to three potential houses. Each family member independently evaluates these houses on a scale of 1 to 10, considering factors they find to be most important to themselves, such as price, size, location, and features. Once everyone has scored each house, their individual ratings are combined to determine the overall preference of the family for each option. The scores are then averaged for each house, and the one with the highest average score is selected as the preferred option for the family to purchase. By utilizing systematic approaches similar to this, we can make decisions that feel more rational and less random. And there you have it, my newfound understanding on how to make better decisions. What decisions are you pondering on at the moment? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content just like this, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.